Do you feel like you had a different idea of what this relationship was gonna be like with Zach than Bree did? I mean, it was great in the beginning because we all would hang out together mm -hmm. and we all- How long all... did you say that lasted? That, a that few it weeks. was great in the beginning? A few weeks. Mm. Oh, just a few weeks, yeah. okay. Um, that honeymoon ended quick. Oh, uh, kind of. I mean, it just, it felt You like... got a little bit more emotionally attached to him, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. It yes. started getting a little more intimate with your sharing of feelings. Yes. Who did he get emotionally attached to? Was there... To Chelsea. Yeah. To... yeah. Well, it sounds like it because I know that he told our producers that, you know, he would have sex with you and then he would go and sleep with Chelsea. In Chelsea's bedroom. And we all know that sleeping next to a person, that's yeah. a vulnerable, intimate act, yeah. right? And it's like, I don't want it every night because I'm kind of a person that's like, get out, you know, like I'm good now, but. <laughs> so listen, I, I want to get to the breakup. What, what, how, did, how did the breakup happen? Um, I did it. I came to them one day and I was just like, guys, I feel like left out. I feel like a third wheel at this point. Okay. I'm not really with it anymore. We need to dead this. And I specifically said, we need to dead this. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, okay, like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Like, if that's how you feel. Cause we've already, we've always said that if one of us felt uncomfortable, then we would like all discuss it together. And then what happened? And um, we broke up. But a couple weeks later, I found out that Zach and Chelsea decided to have their own relationship and move. And move. Bree, this whole thing, it was my understanding. You said, this is just gonna be a fling thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden you get ticked off because the fling thing isn't really a fling thing because now they're emotionally attached, right. sexually attached. So what are you ticked off about? Um, I was more pissed because if that's how she felt, if she felt like she wanted to be with him separate from me, mm -hmm. then that's what she should have said instead of saying like, okay, let's not She do never that. told you? No. Chelsea, you never brought that up before moving out and let her know, like, I don't want to end it. I actually have feelings for him. I think that pride really got in the way of me communicating with her how I really felt. Yeah. And I think pride is also the reason that we haven't spoken in over a year. And Zach and I, you know, fizzled out very quickly. To oh. So wait a minute, neither, <laughs> ne wow. How long did it take to fizzle out? A few weeks after. Um, a few months? But yeah, a few weeks. So a, a, a few weeks. Yeah. What happened? The fire left. <laughs> Do either one of you communicate with Zach at all? No. Um, I still talk to him every now and again. I have him on Instagram. Oh. But like, not like that. Chelsea was like, what, say what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like that though, not like, oh, hey, what's up? It's more like, he, I live, like he moved in the same city that I moved into. Mm. And when I found out he was there, I was like, what's up? Like, what are you doing here?